Now, over the last few years, I've tried on a lot of VR headsets. And to be completely honest, the Quest 2 is probably the most uncomfortable headset I've ever put on straight out of the box. So today, I'm going to show you what I use to make my Quest 2 the most comfortable headset I've ever put on my head. Stick around. Hi guys, my name is Tony and welcome back to Jackal Dude Gaming. Here, I like to have fun in VR, but I love helping you have fun there too. Like I said in the intro, the Quest 2 by default is a pretty uncomfortable headset, but with a couple of accessories, I've turned mine into the most comfortable headset I've ever played VR in. So I wanna share some of those accessories with you. To kick us off, we'll start with today's video sponsor, VR Wave. VR Wave are manufacturers of a variety of quality VR accessories, but what they're probably best known for are their VR lenses. A fun fact you may not have known, if you use corrective lenses or contacts to help you see objects far away, you actually should still use that prescription in VR. The thing is, if you look at an object far away in VR, your eyes will still dilate the same way as if you were staring at that object in the real world. So what VR Wave does is give you these frames that pop onto your existing Quest 2 lenses. Then they craft lenses customized to your prescription. And thanks to the magnetic contacts on the frames, it's super easy to put your custom lens right on there. This gets rid of the hassle of trying to fit your glasses inside your headset and not worrying about them bumping up against your lenses or taking the time to pop in contacts before you get started playing your favorite VR game. Personally, I don't use corrective lenses, but I still use these for my comfort in VR because VR Wave uses the latest in blue light protection. They're able to block a significant amount of blue light without giving you that ugly yellow orange tint that a lot of those blue light glasses give. So I can spend hours in Horizon Worlds building whatever I want without blasting my eyes with harmful blue rays, while all still experiencing all the colors my VR games and experiences have to offer. The reason I like this product so much because it actually helps the accessibility of VR. People no longer have to trade a clear vision to be able to experience VR at its fullest. You can order your lenses right now by going to VR Wave's website that you can find in the description below. Okay, now that we can all see in our VR headset, the next thing we're going to want to replace is that goofy head strap. Now, it should be no surprise that this head strap isn't the most comfortable. You can tell it's something that was designed to help reduce the cost of the headset for us. Luckily, they also engineered the head strap to be modular, so third-party companies can make their own head strap for the Quest 2. Now, I've tried plenty of head straps out there. I've definitely tried the Oculus Snap. I mean, I mean Oculus Strap. All joking aside, these head straps actually have a tendency of cracking and snapping. And honestly, I thought I was being really careful with mine, and mine still ended up cracking. I've also tried the FrankenQuest method by having the deluxe audio strap adapted to the Quest 2 using 3D printed adapters, but honestly, that gets kind of expensive. What I've actually landed on as my daily head strap is the head strap from Kiwi Design. There's a couple of reasons why I like this head strap. Its crank mechanism does a great job at putting even pressure both on the front and back of my head. The foam they use is really comfortable and squishy, and it goes all the way up to the top strap. So it even helps with some of the pressure that the weight of the headset puts on the top strap of your head. But one of its most unique features is this hinge mechanism towards the front of the headset, allowing the headset to rotate up to 52 degrees. I like to build things in Horizon Worlds, and sometimes I like to try to recreate things from my favorite movies and TV shows. In order to do that, I need to constantly look at reference images I have pulled up on my PC. Being able to tilt my headset up easily and then tilt it back down to the exact same position really helps me look at my reference images without having to readjust my headset every time I want to take a peek at the real world. You can find a link for this head strap in the description below. Now after your head strap, you're really going to want to probably change that facial interface. The thing about the default Quest interface, the foam they use is pretty coarse and even though it comes with a silicone covering, my biggest gripe with it is that it does nothing to block the light bleed coming in from around your nose. Light coming in from the bottom of your headset can really kind of break you out of the immersion of your favorite VR games and experiences. So when you go to change this facial interface, I highly recommend you get something with the silicone flaps that cover your nose. This heavily reduces the amount of light bleed you get 
further increasing the immersion of your VR experience. Currently, I use a facial interface from VR Cover, but you can also find great ones from Kiwi Design and VR Wave. Links to all of those in the description below. Now, the last thing I'd recommend to make your headset even more comfortable is a good pair of controller grips. Having the strap on the back of my hand ensures that I won't launch my controller across the room and lets me let go of the controller so I don't have crazy sweaty palms. Now, all those features are really nice, but I wouldn't recommend getting controller grips if they restrict access to your controller's battery. The reason being, we've all been in that situation where we've been in the middle of a really intense PvP game and our controller dies, so we have to do that cool hot swap battery trick. This becomes increasingly difficult if you have a controller grip that makes it harder for you to access your battery. Unless you have these controller grips from Kiwi Design. When you receive these controller grips, they also come with a replacement battery plate, which leaves the battery exposed. That plate also comes with a pull tab that you can snake in underneath the battery and pull the battery out faster than if you just had the stock controller out of the box. The grip also comes with a large silicone wedge that seamlessly covers the battery, still protecting it from debris, but also leaving fast access to it. And you guessed it, you can find a link for these in the description below. Now those are a few accessories I use to make the Quest 2 the most comfortable headset I've put on my head. I wanna say thank you to Kiwi Design for sending over some of their products and a huge thank you to VR Wave for increasing the accessibility in VR and sponsoring today's video. Again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.